Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. Good afternoon, Ayush. Am I audible? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yeah. So let's uh, let's start your interview then. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. So, uh, so the first question is, uh, how can you create a user? Like, have you done it before? Uh, yes. Um, so, if I want to create a user uh, in Oracle database, uh, we can run the SQL command like create user username identified by password, and that user will be uh, getting created. Okay. So, have you have you done it before? Yes, yes, I have done that. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, okay, my next question will be, uh, can you elaborate uh, briefly about Oracle architecture? Don't go in details, just just briefly you elaborate it. So in uh, Oracle architecture, we have um, memory components out there and uh, which is a, uh, in memory component, we have shared buffer cache is there. Then we have library cache. And okay. uh, no, 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 not not like this. Let me repeat it one more time. I think I'm forgetting it. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can so, uh, so we have a memory architecture is there. Um, so basically, you're going to allocate some memory to the Oracle database. And uh, we call it as a SGA system global area. Uh, this system global area is getting divided into the multiple part. Uh, so the first part will be your database buffer cache. And the uh, second one will be your shared pool. And then, no, first one will be your shared pool. Under mm -hmm. the shared pool, you will have your library cache and data dictionary cache. Uh, okay. Second area will be your uh, database buffer cache and third area will be your riddle of buffer. So this is a memory component. And uh, on file level, we have data files are there, control files are there, riddle of files are there, archer logs. These are all physical files are available, including your parameter files and password file. Okay. So your processing Sorry. part will be taken care under memory and uh, the database related objects physically would be available on your database storage part. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, Ayush. Okay, I got, I got you. Yeah. Okay. So I can see that you elaborated it very well. Now we can move to uh, the next question. Can you uh, tell me what is the role of PMON process? PMON is a background process. It's uh, in long form, we call it as a process monitor. Um, Actually, there's there's an issue with your voice. Maybe. Okay. You can... can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, it's it's better, yeah. but still. It's... PMON is a background process. Okay. Yeah, background process of Oracle database. So, um, like, um, PMON is mainly responsible uh, for process monitor. Um, I'm sorry, actually, I'm not able to uh, recall it properly. Hello? I'm sorry, yeah. we, I'm not able to recall it properly. Can you hear me okay. now? Yeah, I can hear you properly now, yeah. So you are saying that you are unable to recall the PMON process? Yes. Yeah, so uh, no worries, no worries. Let, let's move to the next question, Ayush. So, uh, can you tell me the stages of database startup process? Oh, uh, basically your database get open into the three stages. Okay, uh, yeah. The first stage is, we call it as a no mount stage. Uh, in yeah, no mount right. stage, uh, I think we are looking for SP5 and uh, then it will go into the mount stage where it will look for control file. And finally, your database will get open as soon as it is uh, looking for your data files and only develop files out there. So we have three stages out there, no mount, mount, and open. All right, all right, yeah, correct. Now, uh, my next question will be, uh, do you have knowledge about cold backup? 
Uh, did you say the coal backup? Yeah. So, do you have a basic knowledge about coal backup? What is it? Coal backup means uh, when your database is not running, or okay. maybe it is available in the mount stage. That time we take uh, coal backup. And do you know, uh, like, what are the steps we can follow for it? If you want to take coal backup using RMN, uh, you can shut down your database, start the database in mount stage, and then connect to the RMN, take the backup, and once your backup is completed, then you can open your database. All right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's move to the next question. So, uh, for example, your database has got slow. Like, what is the cause of uh, the database getting slow? Can you mention at least three reasons for that? Um, I think I think we can look for your blocking sessions. Maybe um, both the sessions repeat? are. Maybe it is because of your blocking sessions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um or uh, we need to check whether the enough resources are available on the server or not that okay. we can check we can also check the top running activities or uh, we'll see like whether the statistics are up to date we can check the explain plan like these are all the basic uh, actions that we can take to check the performance of Oracle database okay okay Okay, so uh, my next question will be related to ASM. Uh, do you have basic knowledge about ASM? What is the full form of ASM? Let's start with that. ASM is uh, Automatic Storage Management. And what is its like use? ASM is a file system. It's a volume manager. Yeah. And uh, it provides two important features like mirroring and striping. Mm -hmm. So, so ASM is quite good. Uh, usually, when we use the setup like rack and all, there we use this ASM file system. Okay, and uh, like, uh, why should we use a separate ASM home? Can you answer this question? Oh, uh, in normal file system, we do not have the features like this uh, mirroring and striping is there. Um, yeah. Earlier, we used to depending on the uh, separate volume manager where we need to take the additional license. Now, this ASM itself is providing the uh, volume manager and it's providing these two important features, mirroring and striping. So if okay. any disk is getting failed, so it is like a high availability concept for okay. the storage level. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Um, okay, let's move to the next question then. Uh, okay. Okay. What is what is deadlock, Ayush? Uh, oh, uh, deadlock. Uh, I, I I believe. Uh, just give me a minute. Uh, let me recall it once. Yeah. Uh, you just have to describe a deadlock situation. Like deadlock means let's say uh, same table is accessible or same row is accessible by two sessions. And. Uh, Another session will be in waiting stage because the first session has not done the commit. So whenever two, two or more people or two or more transactions are trying to modify the same row, that time the deadlock will come. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so let me give you a scenario. Suppose you receive a complaint about a frequent deadlock in your database. Uh -huh. So, uh, how can you identify the root cause and prevent these deadlocks from happening again and again? Uh, okay. Shall I repeat the question again? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Suppose you receive complaints about frequent deadlocks in the database. Mm -hmm. How can you identify the root cause and prevent these deadlocks from happening again and again? So uh, we can ask our application team to ensure that you know, uh, as soon as they're inserting data, or let's say they are doing some DML operations, they need to do the commit 
uh, frequently. Sometimes, you know, application team, they will insert huge amount of data, but they will not do frequent commit. So that yeah. is also one problem. Yeah. Uh, another thing, like, you know, if uh, we can kill the sessions also, which is creating a deadlock, but we need to take the approval from um, client. Yeah, of uh, course. Yeah. If Thank there you. is any waiting sessions out there that we can kill, we can yeah. check the trace file also. Uh, why the deadlock is coming. And if there is any changes are required in the code, we can ask application team to make the changes into the code also. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, so I guess I should move to the next question now. Uh, again, they, I'm giving you a scenario based question. Okay. So, uh, for example, there's a gap of 1000 archives in my standby. So, uh, uh -huh. how will you resolve that condition? So, if there is a gap in between primary and standby, we will take incremental backup or uh, SCN level backup we can take. We will check the SCN number of primary and standby. So, we will take incremental backup of SCN number from standby. Uh, means, uh, let me, uh, okay, well, let me try it one more time. Yeah. Uh, what we can do, you know, we will check the SCN number of primary database and we will check the SCN number of standby database. So we will take the SCN number of standby, that SCN number, from that SCN number, we will take the incremental backup on the primary. That incremental backup, we will send it to the standby. And we will also create a standby control file on primary. So there on standby, as soon as you got your standby control file and backup, we will start the restoration and this way we can resolve the gap. Yeah, all, all right, all right, Ayush. Okay, uh, do you have a knowledge about Oracle Listener? Mm. Yes, yes, I know about the Oracle Listener. So, yeah, so uh, can you tell what is its purpose? Uh, Oracle Listener is uh, mainly uh, responsible for uh, taking the new connections when user want to connect remotely this uh, listener will play an important role so your listener should be always up and running to yeah, okay. ensure that the users are able to connect to the oracle database yeah yeah very very right right okay okay um so my next question will be uh, how can you verify that the standby is in sync with primary or not Oh, you can check the archive log sequence number, max max sequence number you can check. And uh, if it is matching on primary and standby, then you can say that my primary and standby is in sync. Right, right, all right, all right. Uh, so uh, my next question, Ayush, it will be related to difference between archive log and non-archive log. Oh, oh. Your database should be an archive log more if you want to take uh, Armand back up. And the uh, second thing is, uh, when your database is an archive log more, uh, you can do point in time recovery because the archive logs will get generated. Uh, when your database is in no archive log more, you cannot do point in time recovery. Okay. And you're going to take RMN backup also, especially when your database is up and ready. Okay, 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 Ayush. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, let me let me ask you the last question. And then we'll conclude this session. Yeah. So, okay. my last question will be, uh, can you tell me the stages of database shutdown? Stages of shutdown means like... Uh, there are different ways you can shut down the database. Okay. Uh, like shut down immediate, you can use shut down abort is also there. But we normally try to use shut down immediate. Yeah, I can see that Ayush, you have done a good preparation. But yeah, you need to um, cover up some some of the topics. Yeah. So all the best now. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Yeah.